To all those who are new, welcome to Power Drive. We talk automobiles here like nobody else does and we add value to your life in more ways than one if you have subscribed to the channel. So try it out, hit the subscribe button and see your quality of life improve. Winsum Roundabout Vehicle, in short WRV. It's based on Jazz platform, it's a vehicle that's going to cost you 10.5 lakh rupees and it's first vehicle which has been developed at Honda's R&D facility here in India. Now Honda's done a great job with looks and I say that because every competing car in this segment ends up looking like their donor car. For example, the i20 Active from Hyundai looks a whole lot like the i20 Elite and then Polo Cross looks like Polo. That's not the case here. The front looks very butch, the rear is really well designed and it is only from the side profile that well this resembles the Jazz. And because of its fresh new design then it also manages to compete against the Ford EcoSport and the Maruti Suzuki Vitara Brezza. Now Honda's man maximum machine minimum philosophy means that there is insane amount of space here on the inside. Seats out here are comfortable and they have this interesting pattern to them, there is double stitching etc. The dash has silver accents and now houses this uh, touchscreen HDMI display. It's great to have HDMI display in your car, you can have videos or movies watched in your free time while you are travelling, hopefully not when you are driving. Now uh, this car, the WRV, yes, is based on the Jazz platform. So uh, you get all sorts of cup holders, cubby holes, and utility spaces that the Jazz was so famous for. But you don't get magic seats that Jazz got. And you get more features. You get the push start. Uh, you get cruise control and this segment first one touch sunroof. You can tumble the rear seat bench and uh, have more boot space uh, but then the boot space even with the rear seat upright is quite adequate if you ask me. Now if you are going for the WRV I would highly recommend the diesel variant not the petrol one and there is more than just one reason for that. First one being the petrol is a 90 bhp engine, it's the same petrol engine as seen in the Brio or the Jazz but then this one is 50 kilos heavier and then the petrol being a 5 speed manual transmission. It also misses out on engine start stop button and cruise control. Overall it just uh, struggles a bit when compared to the diesel. The diesel by the virtue of its flat top curve doesn't really struggle as much. It's a six speed manual transmission and the drivability in the diesel is quite good. But you are to expect body roll, the car has a tall stance, it has 188mm of ground clearance. Now Honda says that they have really worked at the steering and it shows I would say because the steering has better feel to it. it. It is more precise and it weighs up a lot better than in Jazz. The brake pedal has fantastic feel and feedback to it, no complaints there. You don't have dead pedal here so long journeys could be causing a little bit of a discomfort to your left leg. You get climate control and capacitive touch buttons out here as what you have seen in the earlier Honda cars, nothing new there. NVH, N stands for noise, V for vibration and H for harshness. I feel the V and H here are, are better when compared to the city or jazz, vibration and harshness is a lot improved. Uh, but then the noise levels, now I just can't get myself to ignore the noisy diesel motor out here. I really wish that they had worked on the sound insulation. So who should buy this one? Well, anyone who wants a decently sized, different looking compact SUV that wears a Honda badge. If you want a big car but have to deal with potholes, bad roads, speed breakers and tight parking spots on a daily basis, this one's a good car. Like we started out with, it's a vehicle that's going to cost you about 10 lakh rupees top in diesel. The Honda WRV, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks a lot for watching Power Drift. We believe you have made some value addition in your life. You can take this info, go to your friends, family and foe and boast or brag about this. Or possibly we have helped you in making your purchase decision. So would you like to subscribe to us? Try it. Next time around we won't be asking it so politely. Thanks a lot for watching. Goodbye.